Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I just got the hanger, man, the number one prosthetic place in the world. Let's see what they have to offer. Let's go. Okay, thank you. I'm at Hangers Clinic. They have me in the back. As you can see, take a look around. Um, this is where they get ready for people to practice walking with the prosthetic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're waiting on the doctor to see what he has to say and see what Hanger has to offer. So stay tuned, people. Hey, what's up, everyone? So I'm at my first doctor's appointment since my last surgery on March 5th of 2024. Today, I'm hoping to take the stitches out. We're gonna see how far along my leg has healed since then. Right now, I need to take the protective thing off as the doctor's gonna make his way in here. Just took off a small shrink, felt really tight. Can I tell if my leg has gone, has gotten any smaller, have the swelling went down? I don't know, we'll see, man. I don't think so. Well, yeah, definitely looks like a lot smaller, especially because the last shrinker was a large and this one right here is a small. definitely looks a lot smaller. <sighs> so weird. The people at Hanger told me to <laughs> move my toes and move my foot. <laughs> to act like I'm pushing the gas pedal, which I thought, you know, hey, your foot's gone. Like, with the nervous system is still there, all those nerves, all that muscle is still there, so. Just moving it around. Okay, now we just wait till the doctor comes in and see what he has to say. I woke up and you weren't there was pretty sad. <laughs> but um, I'm just playing. I'm playing. But I'm happy you called me while I was in the hospital. But um, it's been all right, man. I've had my mom here. I've had my friends here. And um, I've been adjusting very well mentally and physically. But that phantom pain is a real deal. It is yeah. the truth. Um, I don't know if it was because of the weather we've been having, but I was in a lot more pain last week. But overall, my pain has gone down since we've cut off that foot. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's been tremendously down. I've had like, you know, some spasms here and there and um, thinking my foot and toes were still there. Yes, that's a real deal. Standing up too fast is a real deal. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm in a good spot, man. Um, mentally, I've been praying and I just been keeping positive energy around me and looking towards the future. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, how's it looking? Uh, you tell me. Oh, you tell yeah, me. I think it looks good. Awesome. Tell me. It's been two weeks, right? Yeah, only two weeks and a couple of days. Oh, awesome. Holy crap. Your swelling perfect. looks perfect. I went to a shrinker, a smaller yeah. one. So. Your wound edges look totally fine. You know, we can get stitches out today. Can no we? problem. No, oh, for sure. Oh, nice. And this looks as good as it can look. So the contours of the leg look really good. We like it to be nice and cylindrical and symmetric. So from that aspect, that's great. Your knee obviously moves really well. I've been every morning doing my circles left, right, and working with my nervous systems, telling me to move my toes and my foot. Yeah. I just had a big meeting with um, Hanger and then Auerbach. Um, 
I to choose which one I want to go through. I was going to ask you your perspective on what you think. Oh, like which company? Yeah. I think we work with Hang quite a bit. And that's so it. I don't have any skin in the game. It's whomever you seem to like better. Mm -hmm. I think they all have access to a lot of the same stuff. So you just need somebody you like to work with. Okay. So if you find somebody, either one that's your person, just work with them. All right. So at this point, we're in a good place. Use your shrinker. Um, we got to get some more weeks of healing under our belt right. before you get fitted. Okay. So we typically get to that six-week mark, and then we start talking about fitting for the prosthetic. Okay. Because we just got to get those soft tissues to finish that last bit of healing. So, um, that guy there, the RRD, are you wearing it most of the time? Yes, sir. When I'm moving, when I'm moving I'm, I'm out and about like this, but when I'm at the house, it's off. Just you know, I'm using my walker around the house instead yeah. of crutches to make sure I don't slip. And what are we doing to minimize the phantom? Um, things. A mirror. I use a mirror. I YouTube that using a mirror, and I've had a lot of people reach out to me, tell me what to do, and uh, right. That's really it. Okay, but you're not taking any nerve pills or any gabapentin. Okay, and um, oxy when I need it. Not I right. still have all those oxy pills out, but only when I need it. And you're doing gabba like how much? Three times a day. Three one in the morning, one at lunch, and one yeah. before I go to sleep. Just keep that up. You know, it can be useful to help minimize it. This is going to get better. Yes, sir. So the phantom things that kind of wear in over time, and you know, you, they'll catch you every once in a while. But the pain part of it tends to get better as time goes on. Okay. So. I think for everything, dude, you've been you've been awesome. Looks great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. I'm excited. Quite a quite a rodeo, right? Yeah, it's a, it was nerve wracking at first, but um, it was something I didn't want to do at first. But I think I think you knew my decision from the beginning. Uh, I think you knew the entire time, and you just didn't want to tell me because you wanted to give me hope on other things. <laughs> <and> you know, <laughs> I knew, you knew we had this was the right problem. decision. Yeah. You knew you, this was the right I will say that my crystal ball says I think you made the right decision. Yes, sir. And your function in life and happiness will be just fine. Yes, sir. Right. Um, I got to see you back. So let's give me about four more weeks so you're getting better, and then I'll see you and we'll see you. So we're taking four later. weeks until I get fitted for a process. I think so. Four yeah. Weeks. Talk to Hanger. We don't want to push it. You know, I think you've done great. This leg looks as good as we could ever hope for. So um, get four more weeks under your belt, and we'll kind of regroup at that point. Okay. Yeah, I just left Hanger right now, and they just told me it was up to me, and they didn't know if the stitches were going to come out today. Stitches or out, out today. So they said give them a call when the stitches come out, and then um, we'll go from there. Yeah, okay. and work with them. They, they're very good at communicating. So if you like those folks... We've got a good relationship. It just it's easy for us to work together. Let's do it. All right. Got here. Good to see. You. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Yeah. So much. Are you happy? Very. Yeah. He's better place, right? Yes. Yes. It's a big day to do it, but on this side of it, you're pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm glad okay. you made it. All right, guys. Good to see you. Take care. All right. You too. You don't have children, but you've got nieces and nephews, right? Got kids. Yeah, so you know, like when you try to tell them to do something, they won't do it. But when they, it's their own, it's their own a thought. Yeah, and they'll do it. It's kind of the same thing, you know. You kind of have to let people come around to. Yeah, this is do. this is their decision and their. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're fine. Yes, ma'am. I totally understand it. Like you know that what decision they should make, but right. you have to have them. And that's that's just what my mom said. My mom just said that before you walked in. There. <laughs> she knew the decision like in December. Yeah. And uh, she didn't want to tell me. And... Yeah. You gotta let. You gotta let. You get. You know. You have to get there on your own. So that you're not resentful. Oh my god! This is crazy. Oh yeah. It's it's crazy. Good to see you. And then roll you just a little bit that way. There you go, perfect. How many stitches do you think are in there? I don't know, we'll have to count them. You know what's so funny? Everybody says, oh, such a good cut. I'm like, what do y'all mean by that? <laughs> such a good cut. <laughs> Like every doctor that, like, I, you know, I'm a big social media content uh -huh. creator, and a lot of doctors have been following me and following Dr. Lather and yeah. said, oh, my God, you did such an amazing job. You did such a great cut, you know? And I was like, what? Okay. <clears throat> Not what you would normally... Tell somebody. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just weird. Yeah. Just... 
Sometimes the dry scab will make it feel like there's a yeah, there's one hiding here. Anything sticking out there? It must be not. Alright, let me clean you up and then we'll put some little tapes if you want any pictures of it without. Fifteen? Fifteen stitches, people. Fifteen stitches. <laughs> Sweat. I was nervous. I was like, oh, I'm definitely sweating, people. I was nervous when she was doing that. <laughs> felt weird. Definitely felt weird. You're a pro at it now. All right, still nerve wracking. Definitely nerve wracking. Do so. you live normally? California. Oh, okay. Here for South by? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't experience South by. Never. Well, uh, too hectic down there. Yeah, it's nuts. Did you hear somebody that ran over? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You probably took care of them, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, one of them, yeah, it's two two young men. One of them died on the scene. And it's crazy, like the event back in the day, man, it used to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. like, everything was free back in the day. Now those mm -hmm. those uh, wristbands cost eighty, but the the badges cost twenty five hundred to three k. My friend was telling me. Oh really? Yes. To go to the panels, and I'm a I, I like the film part of it. Yeah. It's like the first two weeks, I'm digging into the film part, but um, you know, I'm okay. Yeah. And, um, well, you know, it was, it was in 2014, where down by the Mohawk, where that the car ran in and hit oh, all those, those people. people. Yeah. Coming down that. Yeah. I remember and that. It's just kind of been. Ever since then, I was like, you Out and about, or you've been staying home mostly? Uh, I've been out and about on my mom sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it's good for you. Trying to get out the house, feel exactly. the sunlight, you know, you know, just making sure. I, I, I gotta get out the house and feel the oh, sun. Sure. Yeah, I can't be cooped up in the house, it'll just get to me. So I've been very blessed to have my mom here, and just she's been feeding me really good lately. I don't know what I'm gonna do when she leaves. So <laughs> eating so good. <laughs> uh, my brother's coming in, but he's more of an Uber Eats kind of guy. Mm. So. So when I get home to take care of this, um, you can shower, um, you know, pat it dry. The the shrinker these may peel off in a day or so because of that shrinker coming on and off. Mm -hmm. I'll wrap with are you doing you're doing an ace wrap and then the shrinker over it. I do the Z form uh -huh. and then the uh, ace wrap and then. This. So you don't need the zero form anymore. Okay. Because the stitches are out. That's to prevent things from sticking to the stitches. Oh, the skin is still. I saw a little skin in the other. If you have like, so if any like lotions or anything get down here, it's gonna make them hard to stick. So just be yeah. like, like, make sure your skin's really dry. You have to get there mentally yourself, like we were saying. I'm not not calling you a child, but I'm just saying like it's one of those things where like it has to be your your time and your decision. And until you get there, trying to force that decision is not the right thing. I'm happy and smiling, and it's crazy because um. A lot of people knew that this was the decision that I needed to make, but being put in my shoes, you have to feel that. You, it has to be your decision. It can't be your doctors. It can't be your moms. It can't be your best friends. It can't be your girlfriend. You have to come at peace with your own decision. And a lot of people have asked me, how did I come to this decision? Well, I prayed about it. I looked around at all my friends, my family, and I saw what kind of pain they were in. I did my due diligence. I talked to amputees. I talked to people that had ankle fusions, had TTC fusion, ankle replacements. And I sat there by myself in peace. And I asked myself, what kind of life, what kind of quality of life did I want to live? And ultimately, 
this was the right decision for me. So thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. This is only the beginning, people. I know I've said that numerous times, but it really is, man. It really 